peace, love, and light, family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I hope that you are living in your greatest purpose. Let's get into your messages at this time. Hearing something about Pisces. Okay. What message do you have for the Divine Collective Spirit? Knight of Wands. Okay. Um, I'm getting the energy of a lot of fire. A lot of energy. I'm getting going through challenges or overcoming challenges. Mm. Tell us more about the Knight of Wands spirit. I'm also hearing moving in a new direction. Okay, we got the King of Swords. Okay, start at the bottom. Got the King of Swords. Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, so Spirit is saying that there's mm, you have some folks coming to negotiate with you in this King of Swords energy, and it's it's about a connection with you. It's about a happily ever after. You have both, you have two kings. These are two different people. Mm. Okay, king of swords, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And king of pentacles, earth energy. So you could have a Taurus, Capricorn, or um, Virgo coming towards you. Wow. <laughs> and uh, I'm also getting the energy that it might it might be either one of these people is is in both of these energies or you definitely have two people coming towards you. This is someone who's who's basically about their business about making sure they take the time to think about what they do okay uh this person typically has a habit of thinking you know using more of their using their mind instead of their heart if that makes sense um they don't i'm hearing they don't fall in love easily Mm -hmm. this is someone who's definitely disciplined in terms of their routines you know they may have a structured routine on a daily basis like they're i'm hearing they're about their business and this person could literally own a business as a person of authority of some sort like they hold a position of power um in some kind of capacity hmm not sure why I'm hearing something about you know a pilot an airport of some sort okay uh, perhaps this person you know travels a lot for their business okay this person has a union on their mind this is someone who's definitely thinking about a union either a union that they're in or a union that they want okay with this king of swords they're very rational and i'm still getting that energy of someone who's in a position of power okay
with the king of pentacles this is also a business person this is someone also of you know stability status um focus on their pentacles okay this is someone very similar to the king of swords they definitely think before they act okay and it, <clears throat> so with this with this knight of wands energy here you may be getting either two people coming towards you in this energy you know with very hasty very like they they want things to happen fast Spirit is saying this has a lot to do with like sexual desires. So you may have two people wanting to come towards you. And they may be kind of like. They may be proposing or they may be, you know, saying that they want this with you. When in fact, they want this. Okay, this is about satisfying their internal desires. And Spirit is saying it's, it may not necessarily be that this person doesn't... <sighs> Spirit is saying that whatever it is that they want with you, it's being fueled by their passion for you. <clears throat> whatever This union that they want with you is being fueled by their passion, by their... Like, they have a strong sexual attraction to you okay this may be a father figure of some sort someone that has other people that they are you know responsible for may not be their own personal like their own children blood related it just may be that they have they have uh responsibilities when it comes to other people okay Hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying that there are some... There are some things that you don't know. There are some mysteries, some things regarding this situation this whoever it is that's coming towards you and i'm getting right now the knight of cups there are not hmm, knight of cups okay <laughs> king of swords um and you may also have a knight of cups or someone coming to you in the knight of cups so the king of swords spirit is saying that this is the person that has some secrets they have some things that they haven't told you yet um perhaps perhaps about a some situations that cause this ten of swords so the moon card is coming out okay so there was something between you between you and this king of swords where there was a lot of things that was not being told to you there was a lot of things that was not being told to you and it caused this situation of betrayal uh to where perhaps i'm getting the sense that this person may have like you may you may have started seeing this person in this energy of being an enemy to you so something between you and that person, I'm getting collapse, something, it, it, you severed ties with them is what Spirit is saying. You said your goodbyes for some reason. And the goodbyes that you said to this person had a lot to do with, I'm getting vagueness. Like this person like was not letting you in. They were not, you, there was no way that you were able to see who this person was like this person was a mystery to you okay and it was almost like you know the the energy that they were coming towards you in, and i'm getting the sense that many of you they may have come in the past in this knight of wands energy 
uh, very passionate, like, you know, almost seeming like they wanted something with you. Okay, they came at you. <coughs> they came at you in this passionate energy, seeming like they wanted something with you. And <coughs> at some point, and I'm getting the sense that there may have been some some passionate uh, occasions, we'll say, between you and this person, okay? And at some point, uh, Scorpios, perhaps you began, and maybe this is why Spirit was saying something about the Knight of Cups, you began wanting love, okay? So you were more... You know, because this was a beginning, you began, be, you know, getting in this Knight of Cups energy while this person was in the Knight of Wands energy. For them, it was about passions, you know, uh, sexual adventures, sex, like exploring things. You know, I'm hearing this person may have had some kind of like a fetish of some sort relating to their sexual desires. At some point, you, uh, you know, started becoming a bit more attached to this person and so you began uh you know wanting to offer your cup you know at, in the knight of cups energy and so in doing so you began looking for a connection with this person and the more you look for a connection the more impossible it seemed because this person was not allowing you to see that they were completely vague uh very much um like you hidden is what i'm hearing like you you couldn't figure this person out because their actions their actions and words were two different things you know they weren't they, they were basically showing you like there was no progress Okay, and so at some point you began looking for ways to, you know, uh, detach yourself from this person. Okay, um, and this is the moving forward. Okay, this is the moving forward. Okay, so I'm also getting the energy for so for many of you, if you're dealing with this King of Swords, you did move forward. You did move forward because you wanted a Ten of Pentacles. You were looking for a Ten of Pentacles, someone to invest in you and you and them. Um, and for many of you, Spirit actually gave you that when you moved away from this King of Swords. And many of you, you kind of like saw what was what what this situation between you and this person was going to look like if you didn't end it if you didn't move away from them and for many of you spirit is saying that you were you were actually given a ten of pentacles and some of you are going into this ten of pentacles Okay, so you've either found some. So some of you have found this, and some of you, this is very near for you. Okay, with this three of wands and ten of pentacles, this is definitely you moving forward in self confidence. Okay, when you moved away from this person, you shed a lot of doubts that about yourself. This person, whatever it is that they were doing, they started basically that energy with them. It started creating doubts in you about who you are and for many of you this was blocking a lot of your um, a lot of your chakras is what I'm hearing especially your third eye chakra this it's almost like this person's energy was stifling stifling your energy it was blocking your ability to see clearly um, and Spirit is saying the minute that you actually let go of this with this, okay, this is definitely um, severing the ties with this person. The minute you did this, you move forward towards your success, happiness, and you began seeing that you have a lot of choices. Um, your, 
your root chakra, your third eye chakra was definitely awakened in your decision to choose yourself is what spirit is saying. You began valuing you. For many of you, you're going to be dealing with someone who has a large inheritance or they are <laughs> and they are very well to do and spirit is saying that there's an opportunity to build I'm hearing an empire with this person with this ten of pentacles okay so this is about the king of swords here okay um Tell us about the Ten of Cups. So this Ten of Spirit is saying that this Ten of Pentacles, okay, is regarding the person that this Ten of Pentacles is the is the person that you're also going to have this Ten of Cups with. Okay. Um, so that with this Ten of Cups spirit. <laughs> see this is. Okay so you have choices with this Ten of Cups. Spirit is saying you have choices with this Ten of Cups here. Okay, so I'm getting the sense that you definitely, mm, you may be dealing with two different people. Okay, so we know that you were dealing with a king of swords that was keeping secrets that you severed ties with. And after severing the, the ties, you, you began seeing clearly and you moved towards, you know, your ten of pentacles. And as it relates to this ten of cups... Spirit is saying that you have choices, Scorpios. And the grass is greener on the other side is what I'm hearing. And you're going to be having decisions to make. You're going to be having choices to make. And I'm getting the energy that it may be between this King of Swords and this uh, King of Pentacles. Both are very much financially stable. Um... And they're wanting something with you okay so these either these folks are manifesting you <laughs> you're manifesting this you're manifesting this oh look at this you also have a king of cups you have a lot of choices Scorpios when it comes to love this ten of cups here Okay, Spirit is saying you're the magician. You are manifesting these things. You're sitting, you're seated in your nine of pentacles independently. You're very, uh, you're very much stable financially. Uh, many of you may own properties. Um, I'm also hearing that many of you may be collecting on some of these investments that you've made. And as it relates to this choice that came up with this ten of cups, Spirit is saying that there's also a King of Cups that's coming towards you. And this is uh, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. You, you may have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that's coming towards you that really wants this connection with you. And I'm getting that this person may meet you in the Queen of Swords energy. Uh, where you're seeing where you're getting this person that comes towards you, you know, very kind of like with their heart on their sleeves, you know, they di display their emotions and how they feel about you. You're, you're not going to meet them in the same energy. You know, I'm getting the sense that, you know, you are seated in your power. You're thinking more logically than anything. You know, you're evaluating this situation with this ten of with this with this uh, King of Cups who wants a ten of cups with you. 
so spirit is saying that this person actually really wants love with you they're looking to have love with you and that the passion is is the secondary thing and spirit is saying that what they want with you is 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 a commitment and spirit is also saying as it relates to this king of cups uh you're dealing with someone who who delves in the esoteric who knows how to get what they want okay um this person is going to be very persuasive and spirit is saying that this person is going to bring a lot of healing towards you you have a lot of choices mm. they're coming towards you fast or in they're coming whatever it is they want with you they want to move fast they're 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 not going they know what they want okay they know what they want okay and they're willing to take the leap of faith okay this is regarding the the king of cups that's also coming towards you i'm getting the sense with this that this is someone who's willing to invest in you willing to put in the work you know pour into you okay they definitely see you as a prize is what i'm hearing okay they see you as a prize all right okay tell me about this ten of pentacles So you're <laughs> okay. The King of Pentacles, Death, and Four of Pentacles. So mm, this is someone that you ended something with. So you have a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that was hoarding, <laughs> that was holding from you. And they were withholding, and this has. Part of this has to do with money this person was not giving to you okay you you were dealing with someone who is very selfish and greedy is what i'm hearing okay they were all about material wealth okay they were very stingy controlling possessive uh and you ended something with them you ended a situation with them okay and uh when you ended the situation with them it's either you began to see that you had a lot of options or this person i'm getting the sense that they had a lot of options okay they had a lot of options yeah they're they kind of they, they didn't put you in a very positive energy yeah, and you had to let go of them. And this is, look at this, it's coming out twice. Like this sense of, like you had to let, you had to release them. You release this Ten of Pentacles, okay? And part of the reason why you release them is because they were very much procrastinating with you. And they knew that you wanted something with them, that you wanted a partnership with them, okay? confirmation that you wanted a partnership with them you are very clear about what you wanted you are in this for love and this person was in it to gain some kind of material wealth or opportunity that they saw that they could get with you this person was very delusional is what spirit is saying they're delusional and they were full of illusions um you know and they may have kind of put you in this energy where like you know <clears throat> they were talking the talk to make you feel like something was going to come of this they kind of like fueled your mind with all kinds of thoughts about what they knew that you wanted but secretly they didn't want this with you okay and they created the illusion that they wanted cup energy okay they created the illusion and that's all that they created is what spirit is saying created illusions 
and at some point you were kind of like confused and perhaps trapped or feeling like you were trapped and spirit said you know you have opportunities coming towards you okay uh you have opportunities coming towards you and look at this ace of pentacles you have opportunities coming towards you ace of cups okay and this person didn't realize that you were seated as the empress <laughs> they didn't realize that you were seated as the empress here okay and this person currently may be in a state of regret where they're feeling like stuck regret for the way that they acted towards you the way that they moved towards you okay what else do you want to tell us about this reading spirit <clears throat> spirit wants you to know that and that's confirmation <laughs> This person is feeling trapped. Spirit wants you to know that anyone that ever doubted you, anyone that put you in this position where they played you um, and you released them, they're in a state right now where they're feeling very much like a, like a A. <laughs> and the fact that you, and the letting go of them was your justice is, is what Spirit is saying. You're letting go of these people uh, created this opportunity from the universe letting you know and the universe know that you know that you're full of opportunities and this is why this ten of cups came towards you and these people mm, you you're gonna have folks with this choices here you're definitely gonna have folks who are who wants <laughs> They're fighting over you is what I'm hearing. Okay. Or these folks are actually in the position where they're struggling at this time. Is what I'm getting. And you're also protected by the divine spirit is saying. And you're going to find the person that you can actually work with. Okay. I'm going to pull one more card and close out. Give us one more <clears throat> card regarding this reading. Clarity and truth. Uh, Spirit wants you to know that the doors are opening for you. Mm, and this is what was popping out. Yeah, the divine is opening doors for you. There's things coming to fruition for you. Doors are opening. Okay? Doors are opening. And Spirit wants you to know that for many of you, you the things that you have invested in in your past, you're going to see them. <laughs> you're going to see them um, come to fruition. They're going to pay off. Your goals are going to be coming to fruition is what spirit is saying and your en enemies are going to have to continue to experience despair regret loss is what spirit is saying okay let's see words of wisdom from the ancestors okay getting the number 10 kai tiaki and Number seven, hidden blessings. We're going to take both of them. Why not? Multiple things coming towards you. You have your ancestors who divinely guide and protect you is what Spirit is saying. Okay. And you have blessings coming your way. This is confirmation for you. All right. So we're going to start. Okay. Seven came first. So we're going to do... The blessings, okay? Spirits wants you to know that you have hidden blessings coming your way. Aditi of Hathor. You have beautiful dreams and, ins and inspired bold ambitions. You are guided to believe that they are a natural expression of your soul, something that is meant to be. Life will support you in the expression of those dreams and ambitions, even in the moments where it seems you are experiencing struggle 
rather than support. The process of transformation into full maturity involves learning how to grow through light and darkness and back to the light again. You will always find your way back to the light. Have faith in yourself and what must be. Dedicate yourself to what you love without hesitation. If you're experiencing loss or change, have faith. Sometimes things happen that seem to be working against us. It is only later that they show themselves to have been valuable ways by which we acquired the greater faith, courage, and determination that were necessary to the fulfillment of our purpose. Know that your destiny is unfolding. You're moving through circumstances that are ultimately going to help you become uh, your soul to help you become your soul in fullness and splendor. Keep going. Everything happening in your life is allowing you to fulfill your divine potential. Know that any darkness will give away to the light. Ashe. Okay, let's see number 10. Okay, so number 10 says guardian of Papua. Pap Guardian of Papa Tuanuku. This is Kai Tiaki. Search within for the ways you can express guardianship of the divine feminine. Your relationship with Mother Earth is sacred, empowering, and healing. You are destined to become more spiritually intimate with her, sharing in her creative potency and wisdom. Lean into her and trust in her support even as you serve her by courageously voicing truth. She is your great ally, friend, and healer. And as you dedicate yourself to her, she dedicates herself to you. Make peace and let go of past issues around being abandoned or not understood or feeling unsupported as those experiences need no longer color your worldview. Trust that you belong here and that your connection to the earth goddess will support you in all ways. You are sensitive and rightly so. Never judge your sensitivity or feel that you are overreacting, but also allow nature to calm and soothe you so that you can focus on accomplishing your soul mission. If you feel that you are on your own when you would like some help, allow the Divine Mother to be your friend and guide, whilst trusting that more allies will arrive at the right moment. The Earth Mother has her own sense of timing, and you are not forgotten. You are just growing according to her wisdom and grace. Have faith in yourself and in her. Okay, so Spirit wants you to know that whatever it is that you encountered and went through is only, uh, it's it, it's all meant to support your, your growth, you know, your spiritual growth. And, you know, Spirit wants you to know that there was nothing taken away from you. That all these experiences, all these experiences that you've had served as lessons. And you get to stay in the energy of gratitude for where you are currently. Because your emperor is coming is what I'm hearing. And this is someone in the emperor energy who will, who will invest in you. Who, you know, this is for both masculine and feminines. You know, someone coming towards you that is willing to invest in you and the spirit of aditi of hator this hidden blessing spirit is saying that all things are going to be revealed in time okay if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe much love peace and light